Sup animators and welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful animator tips within 5 minutes. Now today we're going to take a look at a concept of depth modeling by creating a 3 dimensional snowball. That is a very important concept when it comes to modeling, so I expect you all to follow me on this one. So your normal snowball looks like this, flat, nothing special. We want to give this thing extrusions to create a 3 dimensional sphere. Let's do that. First open up an item sheet. Now I will give you a download link to my item sheet presets in the description of this video. And what we need to do is open up your animator folder. Go data, Minecraft, and see the zip file. Open it up with WinRAR Archiver, and I'll search for assets, Minecraft, textures, item, click somewhere, press SN, so it will jump down to snowball, drag it on your desktop, open this up with the image editing program you're using. I'm using paint.net, you can use anything you want. Copy this image, make a new layer here, and paste it in your item sheet. Now I'm gonna copy paste it into the next square again, so I keep my original here because we're gonna modify this one. So the point of depth modeling is creating the object with layers. Since we're creating a snowball, we need to layer each part of this image like a 3D printer. Just follow along. Select all the inner bits, then cut and paste into the next square. And we're going to do the same thing for the entire snowball. Now let's modify it slightly here so it has more variation. And that is it for now. Make the background invisible so we have these images. File, save as. Save it as a PNG. It needs to be a PNG. Flatten. Press Ctrl Z to undo so you get to keep your layers. And now back into my animator. Add a new item, Snowball 1. Put the Snowball 1 in a folder, 3D Snowball. Now put the Snowball 8 units down so it's in the center of the folder here. And now select an image you want your item sheets to be. Go for Snowball Items, we just created it. And press OK. Select this first Snowball. So this is now your first layer of the snowball. Add a new item, snowball 2, select the snowball items, select for the second circle. Lock it on the 3D snowball, move it 8 units down. And now repeat this process until you have the entire snowball done. Okay, we have the same thing, but each layer is now layered. Select the outer circle and scale the Z up to 2. Select the inner circle, scale the Z up to 4. You see what I'm going with? The 6, oops, 6, 8, 10. Now this isn't the best, so obviously we need some tweaking. The point is to keep the scaling differences smaller and smaller until you can closely resemble a sphere. Let's say this is our 3D snowball. We might need another layer for these bits here because they're too stretched, but that's okay. You can make adjustments at all times. Now, if you take a look at your snowball from the side, you can see this outline here, but with 3D, that's not necessary. So let's open up our item sheets once again. Select square number one for adjustments, brightness, contrast, until the colors match. Make background invisible and re-export this. Come into your resources, snowball items, click this icon, browse for snowball items again, and you have your rounded-ish snowball. Now, this was done under five minutes. You're obviously going to try harder. But that is basically the concept of depth modeling. If you want to make a video deeper explaining the depth modeling, click the eye in the corner, leave a vote on the poll. Now that is it for me in this video. If you like the episode, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, hit the bell for fun content every two days. If you have any short tutorial ideas, let me know in the comment section and your idea might get featured in the next on-the-go episode. Now thank you all for watching, good luck with your depth modeling, and stay sharp.